Aries and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from December 14th to the 20th, 2020. So let's start your reading. Let me get my singing bowl here. So happy to be here with you. I will invoke Archangel Metatron to be here with the sun grid with the protection, light and love. I will also invoke Holy Spirit with Mother Gaia for to sustain the healings and reading. I will uh, invoke Archangel Uriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael, and Archangel Gabriel. So let's get started. Take a nice deep breath in. And I'm going to be invoking Archangel Uriel to clear my energy and space and do the same thing for you. Angel Raphael to send healing energy to those that want to embrace it, body, mind, and spirit. Archangel Michael for a breakthrough. Angel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with love, peace, harmony, and protection, and light, and so it is. Beautiful. Now we're going to put this on the side here. And let's get started with your affirmation, Aries. I'm happy that like, you're all here. Hashtag Aries Nation are in the house. <laughs> I like to say that. I don't know. Aries Nation are in the house. Okay, Aries, I hope that you're all doing well. Let's look at your affirmation of the week. Okay, Aries. Okay. Beautiful. Aries, your affirmation is love. Isn't that great? And it is. I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. Now let's look at Mother, uh, Mother. Gaia Oracle. And Gaia Oracle uh, is uh, for some of you. This will be a confirmation. For others, it's going to show me where you uh, where you've been, where you're at now, and what is coming towards you. Mother Gaia is always loving you, supporting you along the way, and guiding you. And even if you're going through a hard time, especially what's taking place now. And now Okay, know that there's light at the end of the tunnel and that she's going to show you the way. Okay, so let's get started with this. Aries. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> you guys want to talk? Okay, we'll talk. Purification, fire. No kidding. <laughs> so this is about bare essentials, the naked truth and wholeness coming in. Okay, so bare essentials. It's about you returning to the basics. Bare essentials, the naked truth deep within your heart and becoming one within yourself. Why? Because you've got the yin yang energy. Beautiful. This is creating harmony through balance. Creating harmony through balance. A lot of hard work here. And last but not least, you got the dream. So there is going to be a dream coming towards you or it's a dream, a vision, whatever that is. Okay, it's something is going to be revealed to you. It's going to be an insight and also a breakthrough in your life. Amazing. So don't forget to jot it down. Okay. So let's get started with your reading. This reading is for Aries Sun. Anywhere that you have Aries in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. If the reading resonates, claim it. Claim it. Without a doubt. If it doesn't... Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense to you. That means that maybe you're not in your sun sign this week. So look at your rising, your moon, your Venus, uh, Mercury, and your north node. Now, I'm going to show you where, you're, where you are now. What is, uh, what is crossing you? What spirit wants you to focus on? Your recent past. What is crowning you in the near future? And what's hidden from you and the outcome? And then I will clarify the cards that I'm led to clarify. 
And at the end of that, I will give you a crystal card. I will give you romance cards and an archangel micro card. So I hope that you do stay with me till the end. And if you do stay with me till the end, thank you. I appreciate it. So let's get started with your reading. Oh, I'm not going to tell you until I put all the cards down. Yes, I know. I'm teasing you. It's fine. <clears throat> I like what I see. Guys want to talk? The cards want to talk? You want to talk? Okay, guys, relax. Okay, I got it. Okay. Let's see. Beautiful. I have to show you this. These cards are so important. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Where do I get started? Let me contain my excitement for you. <laughs> Three of Swords energy reversed is uh, the overall energy of healing something that was a uh, broken heart or something that took place in the past. Okay. But it shows that you did a lot of uh, work on yourself and you opened yourself to unconditional love. There is some type of unconditional love within yourself, your Aries. Uh, it's also the Chiron energy, right? The Chiron energy, for those of you that are in Chiron, in Aries, you have Chiron and Aries, you know the work that you've done to get to this Ace of Cups energy. It's about you returning to you with unconditional love. A lot of, you're going to feel very overwhelmed, at peace uh, as well. And there could also be, there could, there could also be a relationship here from the past or a new one. Let's see. We have, we haven't got there. And I just want to take out other cards underneath that just to see. And what I see is that something is coming into balance for you. There's something that's coming into balance for you. The truth, integrity here. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's something that's coming into balance. It's something that you've been trying to get. And with the emperor energy here, you, you came into your own reading. Okay, this uh, what it talks to me about here. It's uh, it's about you having control of the situation. Um, it's about you. It's about commitment. It's about stability, and it's about setting up new rules and boundaries. This could be also another Aries energy around you. Uh, this could be about business. It could be about anything. Okay, so I'm gonna put back all these three cards because I just wanted they just popped out next to the Three of Swords energy, and uh, where you are not at now is the Ten of Pentacles. So, Ten of Pentacles, this is the card when I saw it. And this is beautiful. Unexpected money, inheritance money. It could also mean just whatever it is that your situation is. There's stability here. Uh, what's crossing you is judgment. Okay? The Ten of Pentacles with judgment. Beautiful. And uh, what Spirit wants you to focus on is that this Ten of Wands, where you've been carrying the world on your shoulders, you're tired, frustrated from all... All the obstacles that you had to go, you have to go through, something is being removed from you, okay? So that there is a time, a period of rest that's going to take place for you. In the recent past, maybe you were dealing with a Virgo that was not in their element, or this is like uh, someone coming out of their element as well. Uh, and uh, what do I see here? In what's crowning you is the temperance, okay? So there is something coming into balance. Again, balance is a strong wor word for you here. This is about having patience. Okay, being patient. It's about something, it's about alchemy. It's about um, moderating your life, not just your life, your body, your mind, your spirit, everything. Um, it's a beautiful energy of healing anyways. I feel a lot of healing here. In the immediate future, you got the Queen of Pentacles. This could be you and energy. Very stable, very reliable, insecurity, very grounded energy, worked very hard. Um, it's success, victory, Okay. In the recent past, uh, no, in the what's supporting you is the four swords reversed with the hermit reversed. So 
there was some type of healing that was taking place maybe that this healing started in the month of september for you of 2020 here is showing me that you're coming out of this healing period where there is something that you have healed this is what it's showing me okay and what is hidden from you is the seven of wands energy which talks about overcoming a situation or situations and in the um, in the hopes and fears, you got the four cups, okay? There is some type of offer that's coming in here for you. And the last card you got is the Ace of Swords, okay? So your crown will be in perfect alignment. Let's put it this way. It talks about where the divine is coming in to cut the fog situations or people out of your life. Uh, this talks about also uh, great communication taking place, creative ideas, and the truth. I love that. So now let's start clarifying the cards for you. Positive reading. Aries. Positive reading. I like it. Okay. One more time, they're saying. All right. Let's look at this Ten of Pentacles. You guys. <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing is because all the cards are coming out at the same time. It's like, okay, I just like hit it once, bang, they're coming. Okay. Ten of Wands reversed, followed by the Knight of Wands, followed by the Knight of Pentacles. I like this. Okay. So again, they're showing me the Ten of Wands, but it's reversed, right? So you're probably thinking that you're still carrying a lot on your shoulders here. But when it's showing me that whenever this Ten of Pentacles is coming in, it's gonna some, something is going to be removed from you. And there is going to be action. There's some type of quick action taking place here, okay? There's action. Uh, it's also uh, someone could be someone coming in uh, with a lot of passion within them. But they're, they're coming in passionately, but they're also taking their time, okay? Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be this sign, but there's... There's something here that's coming in for you, okay, with this Ten of Pentacles. I'm just going to take out one more card for this Knight of Wands and uh, this Knight of Pentacles energy. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. This is destiny. This is luck. Favor okay, this is the wheel turning in your favor, Aries. And uh, it's about uh, destiny, luck, and something, someone or something faded is coming towards you. And it's bringing in where you're not, you're going to be, oh, oh, you could finally relax, okay? Um, yeah, it's very beautiful, Jupiter energy. Now let's look at the judgment. you got the King of Swords energy. The Four of Pentacles, the Sun card, oh my God, and the Six of Wands. Okay, like this is unbelievable. So whatever this, the, is coming in here for you, or you have to make a judgment, or there's some type of judgment here. If you're dealing with someone, uh, maybe you're dealing with someone that you, okay, I don't know what the situation is. I could be talking to you, vice versa, or a cross watcher. Uh, whatever the situation, okay, is maybe you're dealing with someone that seems aloof, you know, uh, King of Swords energy with the Four of Pentacles. They're holding back. They're holding back, okay, uh, of showing. They're very, um, you know, they're very, uh, how, what's the word I could say? Their heart and mind are in the right place. They're very truthful. They have a lot of wisdom, um, a lot of creative ideas here. But someone's holding back their true emotions in the situation. But whatever this is, this could also be about business for some of you. Maybe you're holding back your potential to really be out there if this has to do with business because look what I got for you. I got the six of wands with the uh, the sun card. So for me, this is very clear, okay? Success, victory, uh, going against uh, all the odds to rise, uh, to rise, okay? And also talk, the sun, it's positive vibe, success. It's about soulmate. It could be anything, abundance, 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 epiphanies. It's beautiful. Oh my God, beautiful energy. I'm really happy for you. Now, let's look at this uh, Ten of uh, Wands in what Spirit wants you to focus on here. The Ten becomes A1. So, it's the ending. You got the King of Cups. Nice. 
Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to be that sign. This is someone that's emotionally available. They're, they're in control of their emotions and they're able to express what they want to express. Okay. Um, the Queen of Wands and the Three of Wands. With the Hermit Reverse. So maybe some of you were dealing with a Virgo here because the Hermit card came out twice. Um, or this took place in the month of... Maybe you're dealing with a, a Virgo for some of you that were not in... They were not in their element at that time. Or uh, but or this also means that you're coming out of, of the Hermit stage. Okay? And um, you've been waiting. Because you know that something is coming in for you. You've been feeling it for a long time. Uh, you know, whatever it is, your ship's coming in, long-term investment or goals here, you're ready, you know. And with the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands energy, this talks about magic. It talks about like someone that's very creative, very magical, very truthful, very generous, very outgoing. So, uh, yeah, you know, look at this beautiful energy here. Could be one person or the situation that you're involved with. Let's look at this Hermit Reversed. What is this Hermit Reversed? What is this about here? This Hermit Reversed in the recent past till now. Okay, look at that. Okay. You've got it twice, the Ten of Pentacles. It's about stability, unexpected money. Uh, it's... It's about some type of stability coming in. Law of attraction as well. You've been working on this. Um, you've been working on the situation. So let's say you were involved with someone in the past. It doesn't have to be a Virgo. But let's say you were involved with a Virgo. Because they're showing me Virgo energy here. Someone that you put a lot of energy into. Or something. That you, something that you put a lot of energy into. You took out your energy from another situation or person. And you started working on yourself. And that produced the Ten of Pentacles with the Empress. And the Empress energy, in her energy, whether it's a male or female, doesn't matter. Because it's an energy. The law of attraction. Meaning, the Empress sits back, manifests. There's a lot of transformation. It's not like they get things like that. They have to go through a lot of a transformation. They have to go through a lot of death and rebirth before they got to be the Empress here. Energy. And this talks about new opportunities taking place in a lot of areas, a lot of creative ideas as well. But there's stability, there's stability in a home, happiness in a home, a start of something new. This is really grand, okay? It's like awesome, Aries. I'm so happy for you. Now, let's look at the temperance. Temperance. You've got the Six of Swords energy. So you are going to be going through a transition. The world reversed, okay, because so, there's some type, okay, why is the world reversed? Okay, some of you, uh, it's about clinging on to someone from the past, maybe, or someone is clinging you from the past, okay? Uh, that's why there's something that's really not finished at this time. Um, it's about some type of stability or something is not cooperating in the way that you want. Whatever this is, it doesn't have to be about a relationship, Okay, but whatever it is, there's something here. Uh, someone's still stuck in their mind about a situation or they're not wanting to admit uh, the truth to themselves or uh, like they have to, it's like there's some type of reawakening that they have to go through. I don't know who this message is for, but whatever the case is that's taking place, patience is needed in this situation, period. Okay, uh, and uh, I know you've been working on that, Aries. So, uh, but what I do see is that there is going to be a transition when Jupiter and um, and Saturn goes into uh, Aquarius. Okay, um, there is going to be like something that you've been wishing upon. Uh, Aquarius energy could be something that you've been wishing upon is coming true here. It's about uh, your faith and your uh, faith and hope being restored within you. Okay. So there is some type of relocation or moving. And look, I got the King and Queen of Cups here energy. King and Queen of Cups. Okay, there is love here. There is love. But everybody, but everybody, uh, it's like, a, do I give my love away? See, like she's holding the cup in her hand. Like, do I give it? Well, yeah, you know, she's holding on to one hand and wanting to give with the other. So you, you'll know what that means for some of you. Let's look at the Queen of Pentacles here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Chariot energy. Four cups again. 
devil reversed. That's good. So whatever it is that you walked away from in the recent past, whatever it is that you walked away from, you're going to overcome it because it's reversed here. Okay, whatever it was. There could also be someone coming back because there's unfinished business in a situation here. It doesn't have to be, but it's there. Okay, uh, for some of you, this could be uh, a divorce. That, that's why there's you need to wait and there's unfinished business. But there's, there's also a breakthrough. This is from the, maybe some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. And if it's not Capricorn, it just means that Saturn, the energy of Saturn and Capricorn, uh, whatever karmic you went through, karmically what you went through, Aries, you released it. You release the bonds, you release the fears, unhealthy situations. You just released it and you and so by this happening, there's some type of freedom that took place that's taking place here for you. But there is an offer here. Uh some of you are not seeing the offer. I'll see why. And then uh it's about you taking control. So maybe it's not that uh, something is coming towards you, like uh divine is not coming in and say, here, there's a person or a situation. Maybe for some of you, but for others of you, Aries. The divine is saying to you, uh, is giving you some things like, okay, move forward in this situation or take control of this situation. This is what I feel because with the chariot card, it says that it's you, you need to take control. You need to take control of the situation in your life and move forward in a positive way. Okay. So I don't know if that message will pertain to anybody. Now let's look at the four of swords re uh, reversed here in the, with supporting you. You got the six of pentacles with the full card reversed. And okay, so there was something here that where you had paused, taking a break, or there was some type of healing or a breakup, whatever the thing is, something was off balance. That's why this was taking place, okay? And uh, the beginning that you wanted did not come forth, but there will be an unexpected message coming in very, very clearly. Maybe someone might even come to your door and knock into your door to talk to you, right? What is this uh, Knight of Swords energy about? Where are they coming in about? What is it? What is, what's the what's the message about? Because yeah, they're not going to be holding secrets anymore. That's for sure. They're coming in truthful, okay. And there, you will feel happy. There is going to be some type of celebration here. Yeah, uh, look at that. The King of Pentacles. I got the King and Queen of Pentacles and the King and Queen of Cups. If you have Leo in your chart, look at the Leo reading too. Okay, this is victory happiness this beautiful energy here stability let's look at the seven of wands and what is hidden from you this is about you overcoming these energies or situation maybe for some of you you already overcame them you got the queen of swords of course you got the queen of swords okay so you got the queen of swords energy because the king of swords is here too so there's already three suitors the king and queen of swords the king and queen of cups the king and queen of pentacles so I got the Queen of Swords, Tower Reversed. Someone overcame. Okay, there was some type of unexpected change that caused maybe losing money, losing a job, or uh, or feeling left out, or feeling abandoned. And what I feel is that whoever that the situation, whether it's you or them, whatever the situation here, there's an overcoming of uh, not feeling in this way anymore. Okay, so you they overcame or you overcame the situation. So someone's coming in like the Queen of Swords, like, okay, uh, thinking with the mind. But what's opening up is the Ace of Cups energy. This is unconditional love. Opening your heart chakra. Peacefulness, forgiveness. Could be a start of a new relationship or it could be someone from the past. Because you do have unfinished business here. Now, let's look at uh, this uh, Four of Cups energy. Okay. The Five of Cups. The Nine of Cups reversed. Some of you need to cut energies with people or exes or something like that, if that's the case. Or if it's a divorce that you're going through that uh, there's unfinished business or maybe there's someone new coming in here for you. But uh, whoever this person is, if this is a person you're dealing with in the past here, uh, someone had to surrender. There's a lot of fears with this person, okay? They're going through a lot right now, whoever the situation is, okay? There's an offer here. Uh, or there's something that's being shown to you or them. And uh, it's about seeing the silver lining in a situation. It's about changing the way you see things as well. Because if you're always concentrating on, 
everything bad, then you're not going to see the silver lining and knowing that everything happens for a reason. So there's a need to do that, okay? Forgiveness. Uh, so they're not ready to move in forward and or to bring you that cup of love because they're still suffering inside. And uh, and they're going through a lot of fears. There's a lot of deception or illusion, a distortion in their mind so they can't think clearly. And so they're walking through a very dark path right now. So everybody, that's why it's very important to remain patient for those of you. And someone had to let go of control, like letting this thing unfold naturally. Now let's look at this Ace of Swords. You've got the High Priestess. Oh boy, this is beautiful energy. The Ace of Swords with the High Priestess. Oh, nice. Very clear energy here, especially for those of you that are, uh, you know, in your intuition, your gifts are enhancing huge. Okay, so trust your intuition on this thing. Um, a lot of you have went to the dark night of the soul, even with Chiron in Aries energy here for you, Aries, you, you, you surrendered, you surrendered, you from the cocoon, from the caterpillar, you went to the cocoon, from the cocoon, you went to the butterfly and there's a higher shift that's taking place. You are spiritually advancing. If there's an evolution taking place for you, even in your psychicness, in your career, whatever it is here, it's very, very good. And it's like a reawakening of yourself that's taking place here because this is what it is. I mean, wow, this is a beautiful reading and cards do not lie. Okay, cards do not lie. The energy is here. It's real. Okay, let's see here. Yes. Okay, four swords energy. And so what it is, is that while this is going on, there's going to be time for you to take a break and rest. Okay, there's time that you need to heal. And some of you have put the past behind you. Now let's look at this three of swords energy in the recent past. Uh, not the recent past, sorry. Uh, the overall energy here. You got the two of pentacles. Trying to balance something in your life. It's about grounding. You need to you need to find ways to ground yourself. Okay, Aries also. Five of Wands energy. You're trying to get rid of the drama and people or situations around you. Page of Pentacles. There might be some type of uh there might be some type of um someone coming in uh apologizing, saying they're sorry. Whatever it is, it was a, a situation in the past that was a lot of fighting and arguing um, and maybe someone was being pulled in two different directions. Whatever the case is, uh, there could be an opportunity here uh, of a start of some type of stability, like something coming in. Um, tangible, could be money, could be friendship, could be anything. You'll know in your situation. And what's taking place is Scorpio energy. So there is a Scorpio here that's coming in. It could be a new person for you, okay, while you're shutting out the past and going into the future. But there's still a lot of, you need to rest, you need, to, you really need to rest, you're tired. Uh, but there's a death and rebirth and also that resurrection that's taking place. I do have to put that out there because this is what they're telling me. Uh, of uh, a huge transformation taking place in your life, a huge transformation, okay. And uh, look at this. Again, underneath the deck, you got the three of swords reversed. Healing is done here. If, yeah so that's what i have for you now let's look at your crystal cards i was gonna go look deeper into the reading i said no this is like amazing up to now let's look for aries aries one okay two you got pink opal and it says be kind to yourself and lepidoite. Recall your dreams. Recall your dreams. Ask Archangel Michael to do that if you don't know. Before you go to bed at night, ask Archangel Michael to remember your dreams or even dreams of the past that you might have forgotten. Okay, because there is something of a dream coming towards you. So there's something huge coming in for you. It's not a small thing. It's a huge thing. Okay. Uh, and pink umpo. So you can use these two as much, these two crystals as much as you need. And now let's look at the Romance Angels. I usually take out six cards to see overall energy for everybody. This is for Aries. Okay. Two more cards. Aries. Two more cards for Aries. Okay, perfect. All right. 
So first card here you got is, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Free yourself. It's time to take control back of your life. It's time to take back control of your life. There's a past life relationship here. You have known each other before. There's chemistry between and something very magnetic and attraction. And there's also new love. A new person has steered your romantic feelings. Now let's look at Archangel Michael and see what Archangel Michael wants to tell you. It's time to leave this unhealthy situation. This could be a person or a situation or it could be uh, something that you're bonded to. It could be an addiction. It could be anything, a behavior. It could be anything, okay? So your prayer is, Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, Aries. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I have your back and that I love you. This shall pass, but this is amazing. I do have a future date. June, July, August of 2021 will mean something for all of you. So take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.